An adequate amount of good quality sleep is essential for exercise recovery and the quantity you get is actually indicative of your potential life expectancy. Here are my top five tips to ensure that you are getting enough. Not that. If you want to optimize your health or sports performance without harming the animals or environment, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon so you're notified of new videos and new live streams. Tip number one. Believe it or not, a good night's sleep starts the morning before. The first thing we want to do is to get outside, get the sunlight in our eyes, the blue wavelength light, actually sets up our circadian rhythm, so the different processes of our body, so it knows where we are, it's kind of a reset, everything's working in order, and so about 16 hours later, your body's gonna know it's time to start settling down. If you're unfortunate enough to be a shift worker, I mean, there may be things you can do to help alleviate things to some degree, but studies show that shift workers don't live such a long life as people who have a normal relationship with the circadian rhythm so my top tip really quit your job get, get a day job tip number two nutrition wise our last meal should be finished at least a couple of hours preferably three hours before bed or this can keep you awake some people like to have a glass of wine or something so alcohol is a sedative sedation is not the same as sleep it's not as restorative skip that alcohol it also feeds bad bacteria and kills good bacteria this gut microbiome is the key to good health so you don't want to be doing that and as a slight aside as a vegan i will say if you're not eating animal products you won't have any guilt on your mind so you get off do a better night's sleep tip number three pardon oh, yeah. so our environment needs to be cool dark and silent Apparently the optimum temperature for getting off to sleep is 18 degrees centigrade. If possible, a blackout blind should be fitted. Failing that, a good quality, well-fitting eye mask is a cheap solution. Tip number four. The earlier we can get off our electronic devices, the better the blue light. You know, our, our brain sees that as sunlight, basically. You can get apps like F.Lux, that take out the blue light. However, the stimulation from social media, etc., keeps our brain buzz and keeps us awake. Currently, I shut off my technology 90 minutes before bed, which for me is manageable. You know, ideally like at least a couple of hours before. Incidentally, we have no technology in the bedroom. So we go in the bedroom and our bodies know we're in there to sleep. But Paul, what the hell am I gonna do if I've not got my devices and that? So we can use this time to read to meditate is amazing and you can even connect with your significant other and tip number five and my last little tip involves supplements so in the past i found zma to be very useful it's a synergistic blend of zinc magnesium and vitamin b6 we should be getting adequate amounts of these things from our diet particularly a whole foods plant-based diet however because of modern growing methods sores are getting deplete and if you're ticking all the other boxes and it's not working for you, maybe give this a try. The magnesium really settles the nervous system and myself and anecdotally lots of my friends really recommend that one. And the other thing I wanna speak about is CBD oil. This one is from CBD Armor, hashtag not sponsored, but it's such a great product, works really well. Um, it's a compound out of marijuana, however it's not psychoactive so whereas the thc you know sends you a bit loopy this one has more of a, a calming um relaxing effect uh, and i found this to be very very good in many different ways so highly recommended if you've enjoyed this video and you feel like it may be of benefit to others why not help grow our wonderful community by sharing it out on your social media and together we'll help inspire everybody to go vegan for victory